and welcome to your Bulldog News on the Sick News Network. I'm your host, Vicky. And I'm Christian. What do you call a bear with no teeth? What? A gummy bear. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now on to your weather. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to your Bulldog News on the Sick News Network. I'm your host, Vicky. And I'm Christian. What do you call a bear with no teeth? What? A gummy bear. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now on to your weather. Hi and welcome to your weather. I'm your host Austin. Today we will have highs have a high of 76 and a low of 50 with a 7% chance of precipitation. For the rest of the week we will have highs in the upper 70s and lows in the mid to upper 50s with cloudy skies all week. The weekend we will have highs in the upper 60s going into the lower 70s and lows in the, low, in the 40s. <coughs> Saturday has a 49% chance of rain, and Sunday will be mostly sunny. Next week, we will have, it will be mostly sunny with highs in the upper 60s and lows in the upper 40s. Our chance for rain will return at the end of next week. Thank you, and that's all for your weather. Can Hello, and welcome to your local news. We are your host, Isaac, and... Kale Van. At 8.10 each day, students at the college will be recited the Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah, America. We ask you to wear your lantern to breakfast and lunch. It will be faster and easier to just scan the card. You will not be able to charge over $20 for seconds. Students need to stay in the comments until 7.45. Students that dropped off should not go to the lockers until the comments area is released in the morning. At the end of the day, 7th and 8th grade students in the middle school should be released by 2.52. Delays in the lunch line are struggling to hear students at times. To help this situation, let's only allow four to five students inside the entrance door. Students can wait outside that door and that may help the issue. Remember, employees are people too. Reminder, please bring your lunch cards. On Friday, please wear your new Once a Bulldog, Always a Bulldog shirt if possible. This Saturday, November 5th, our band will be marching in the CFO Homecoming Parade at 2.15. Also, this Saturday on November 5th will be the L Hoop Shoot at 9 in the morning in the elementary gym. You must be 8 through 13 years old on this ride. <laughs> this Sunday is Daylight Savings. We'll be falling back one hour. More, de more beauty sleep, am I right, Cowman? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> November 8th, which is on Tuesday, progress reports will be given out that day. <laughs> Wednesday, Wednesday, November 9th, 4th and 5th, Great ar archery parent meetings in the elementary gym are at 5 15. Hope, oh, hope everyone can get rid of their Halloween candy and are prepared for Christmas and a mob of angry Christmas shoppers. This is the end of the local news. See you next time. Thank you, and that's all for your local news. Clocking out. Clocking out. See you next time. Good ciao. Hello, and welcome to your sports. I'm your host, Hayden. Cross country will run at Columbia, Missouri this Saturday. Girls will run at 1.30 and boys will run at 2.15. Thank you and that is all for your sports. Hello and welcome to Stain History. In sports 1996, Miami Heat's coach Pat Riley becomes eighth coach to win 800 games in 97-95 to win at Indiana. He accomplishes milestone two weeks shy of his 15th coaching anniversary, faster than any coach in NBA history. In the year 1993, Michael Jackson's Thriller single is released worldwide. In history, in 1852, Franklin Pierce is elected the 14th President of the United States. Thank you. That's all for this day in history. That's all for your news today. Remember, we're not this the news with the news for Z. Hello, beautiful people. I'm host Christian. I welcome you to Random Fact. Have you ever found an annoying piece of thin plastic or string bars in your hand? Even though they are so small you can barely see them, your hands can feel them. Human fingers are so sensitive that they can feel things around 13 nanometers in size. If you had your finger growing to the size of the Earth, you'd feel the difference between a house and a car. Thank you. That's all for your random fact.